Hello and welcome to this video in which we will explain what a random variable is and do a couple of examples of random variables. A random variable is a numerical variable whose measured value can change from one replicate or performance of the experiment on which it's based to another. So on the screen I have a silicon wafer and on the silicon wafer are die or little tiny chips. And suppose I want to define a random variable I'll call my random variable x. This is an uppercase x. And my random variable will be the number of the die. Each die is one of these little squares. It'll be the number of die that are defective. So the possible numbers that x could have could be 0. I might have a ran or I might have a silicon wafer that's completely free of defective dye. One, I might have just one defective dye as I've shown here, all the way up to the total number of dye on the wafer. I actually haven't measured this but or counted this, but it's pretty big. So let's just say that there's three hundred here. Suppose that I get my first wafer and it turns out that this dye this die and this die are bad when I do the testing. In that case, x would equal 3. I have 3 bad die. And the way I would represent this is with a lowercase x and a sub 1. So this represents the outcome or the value that x takes on experiment number 1, basically. And in this case, x sub 1 would be 3. Now let's suppose that I get another wafer. On the second wafer, this die, this die, and lots of these dies, say eight of these dies over here. Somebody put their finger on the wafer and it just destroyed these guys. So let's suppose these are the bad die. In that case, this would be the second wafer, so I could call this x sub 2. I would have 10 defective die on the wafer. You can see that every time I get a new wafer and I test the die on the wafer, I may come up with a different number. Some wafers may be better than others, some may be worse than others. The fact that the values that this random variable can take have to be integers, they have to actually be positive integers. I can't have negative three defective die. And these integers have to be between 0 and whatever the largest number of die possible on the wafer is, this is a discrete random variable. Again, it's discrete because it has a discrete number or a discrete set of values that it can take. Now let's suppose that I look at a different random variable. You'll notice these little guys down here. These are what are typically called test pads or test devices, and they're put on the wafer to monitor the electrical characteristics of the devices that are built onto the wafer. And let's suppose that as part of my testing, I want to actually check a voltage between two points on, on this test pad. And suppose that this uh, die will be supplied with 5 volts, so this voltage that I measure could be anywhere between 0 volts, which is the lowest it could be, all the way up to 5 volts. Okay, And it could be any voltage between these two, including the end. Let's call the random variable that represents this voltage y. So the first time on my first wafer that I measure this voltage, I may get y1 is 4.23 volts just randomly choosing a number. The next wafer, when I measure this, I may get y2 is 4.69 volts. And as I keep checking this voltage on wafers, again, every time I get a different wafer, I may get a different voltage. And in principle, this voltage could be anywhere between 0 volts and 5 volts. So again, y1 and y2 are my replicates, or my values, uh, of my random variable that I get on different experiments. And in this case, y is a continuous random variable. Because again, it can take any value 
on this interval of real numbers. This is a very brief introduction to random variables. We've introduced the idea of a random variable. It's a variable whose numerical value or whose measured value can change from one performance of an experiment to the next. In this particular example, uh, the experiment is choosing a wafer and testing the die or testing the voltage. We've also talked about the difference between discrete random variables, which can have values from a discrete set, and continuous random variables, which can have values from either the whole real line or some portion of the real line, as we have here. So that's it. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.